So it's my privilege to announce the head football coach of Broken Arrow, Coach Josh Blankenship. First of all, I got to thank everybody that took some time with me. Um, Mr. Perry and Coach Dunn and Coach Melton and Miss, Mrs. Snyder. Um, knew her by a different name in high school. And then Dr. Vincent and the board. Um, I'm blown away by this opportunity. This place is home to me. Oklahoma is very, very special to me. And to be able to bring my family here um, is, is what excites me the most. This is unbelievable. The talent is unbelievable. I'm humbled and I'm grateful. And I'm excited about what we're going to do and the way we're going to do it. I'm excited to build on the culture that's already been, been established here and been grown here. The tradition here is, is unbelievable. I mean, as a little kid, I was a ball boy for my dad, and I'd go try to catch those PATs and field goals falling down uh, the tree down there at the end zone over at Kirkland. A legacy is something that we're going to be focused on. And the way that we're going to do it is by creating a culture. And there's already an incredible culture here that I just want to add to. The way we're going to do it is we're going to develop men. It's going to be hard and the standard's going to be very, very high, but the reward is, is worth it. We develop men and then we create a culture of family. There might be other ways to win and you can go all across the country and, and hear different ways on how to win. That's how we're going to win. And we're excited about it. I'm excited to be a part of this with you. I can't say it, say it as good as Coach O, but go Tigers. Hey guys, you guys welcome your head coach, Coach Blake. I don't think you can work at a place uh, like Broken Arrow without realizing those expectations. You know, I think I spoke about the tradition here, you know, going all the way back to Coach Ragsdale and, and uh, Coach Jones and Coach Lancaster and Coach Spav and Coach Alexander. What they've developed here and what they've built upon one another in, in their successive programs, that's what I want to do. When I met all the people, that's what blew me away. Being a part of that kind of culture, I took my wife with me, Lindsay, to the, the second interview. One, because I knew she'd help me sealed the deal there on getting the job, but um, I wanted her to be able to see the people that we're going to be working with. And we didn't have to talk about it very long. It became very apparent that this is this is where we want to be. You see it from the top down with Dr. Vincent and then the people, and you see the, the culture that they've already established. Obviously, there's a winning culture. Um, there's a culture of excellence. There's a culture of wanting to support other people that are in this community. And then there's the Broken Arrow culture, just the, the city itself that I've always admired. And we were talking about that also about even growing up in the area, most of the BA people are BA lifers and then their kids become BA lifers. And that excites me. Excellence is, is not just a part-time thing and it's not just a sometimes thing. It's uh, excellence in everything. So you're not gonna just be excellent on the field and then average in the classroom or average out in relationships. It's excellence should be contagious and it should carry over into everything. And then legacy was the other word that I mentioned and that's really big. And I'll never forget watching dad sweep a locker room after a game up in Enid. And all the players were already on the bus. And I was like, what are you doing? He said, you always leave a place better than it was before you got there. 